Hey guys, welcome back to Coding Flamingo. In the last video we looked at adding data using our Razor page and our form. So in this video we're going to look at actually looking at the data. So let's get started. So we're going to go back here. Uh, we're going to go to the fetch data. We're just going to reuse this. It already has a table, so it's less typing if you're replacing. Uh, with me, I'm just going to do some copy paste, so we're good either way. So let me just go back here. And let's copy the data. Um, so let's just change the name first. Then in here we're gonna we're gonna change this to people so and we're gonna change the, the data is gonna be people so we should do um, I'm just gonna change the columns it's a lot of typing so um, just indented so we're doing this is just the headers so first name, last name, email, occupation, hobbies, and age. And in here I'm going to do a for loop. So we're going to need a variable here. So instead of other forecast, we're going to do person model, which we need to add the using models and data. So let me just do this. need four components so now in here we're gonna inject our navigator that we used to get our base URL we can do the injects as well at the top we can do add inject and put that but I try to keep most of it here then we're gonna create a new HTTP client same as last time and then we're gonna create the person so this is the people array here. So now you see it's liking it now. So then on initialize we're just gonna do an HTTP get and we're gonna set the people next to it. So while it's still getting the stuff um, it's gonna be loading or it's almost immediate and then once it gets it it's gonna load the table. So uh, let's go also to the navigator. Let's change the name. So, users. And let's try it out. So, if we go here, it's loading. And it's loading a little too long because we did not add the controller. I felt that it was too little code. So that's how it looks when it doesn't work. Um, so now let's go back to the controller. And we're gonna have to add our API. So here right now we only have populate and add user. We have to do one for get people. So we're gonna go down here. We're gonna do get people. So we're gonna have to go to people manager and create one for getting the people. So we're going to go to people manager. And it's going to be also two lines of code. Uh, so we're just going to the database, getting all the people, changing it to array and returning it. Um, if you had other requirements, if you want to do like all the people you want to do, some of the people you can do where then this is just a lambda function that you can do i dot age is greater than five or four. You could do this, but in this case we want to see all of them. And you could pass the value that you want to do. So if you had here an int age, you could pass 
as the edge here. So in this case, we're just going to do all the people. So let's go back. Now it should work. Still not liking it. Oh, there we go, sorry. So as you saw, it took a little time to get the token, but you can see it added more people. And we can go here, add a new user. We added it, now it's loading, and the new user should come on. So this is how you display um, users. In the next video, we're going to look at adding a delete button and calling a delete function to delete the user. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.